So why does the Air Force say it needs its new next-generation air dominance fighter when it already has the F-22 Raptor? Why would we field a new piloted stealth fighter in the age of AI? And why buy an aircraft we already know might cost between $200 and $300 million each? Well, let's run through each of these common questions one at a time as quickly as we can. The F-22 is still dominant today and will continue to be thanks to a slew of new upgrades. But no matter how many upgrades we strap to the Raptor, it is still a 35-year-old design and there will still never be more than 150 of them. Any losses in the Raptor fleet couldn't be replaced, and America runs the risk of its F-22 airframes wearing out before a big fight even breaks out. Halting Raptor production early, back in 2011, was always going to mean needing to replace this fighter sooner. Okay, what about AI? Why build a new piloted fighter at all? Well, no matter what chronically online billionaires may try to tell you, AI is not advanced enough to replace human pilots in complex combat operations. And in fact, according to several recent studies, it may never be at all. Even the most advanced and capable AI models today struggle to create answers to questions when not given all the necessary information, something fighter pilots have to do constantly. But even more damning, AI system reliability collapses by as much as 65% when presented with related but unnecessary additional information, something, again, pilots are constantly inundated with. Put simply, Elon Musk may think AI can replace fighter pilots today, but the actual scientists, engineers, and test pilots building AI to do that are all clear that the systems aren't there yet. And building fleets of new fighter drones around a concept of operations that just might exist someday is exactly how a program's budget runs away with itself. Okay, so what about price tag? Well, 200 to 300 million dollars is genuinely a fortune. There's no denying that. But it's also pretty comparable to what we've paid for previous top-tier fighters. As we mentioned recently, the F-22, F-35, F-14, and F-15 all cost well north of $200 million apiece when we adjust them for today's inflation. And to close with a statement made by Air Force General Will Spock at AFA last week about China's recently unveiled stealth aircraft, as we observe what China has produced, and we can presume we know what that's for, for air superiority, what are we going to do about it? I don't believe that nothing is an option.